Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 Cast and Comets TV coverage as the Cast and Comets play host here at the Comet Creator to the West Central Trojans. I'm Blair Zimmerman. I will be joined up here in the booth shortly with my co by my co-commentator, Aubrey Dagg. She uh, informed me that she's gotten stuck in a little bit of traffic. We are excited to watch the season opener, though, tonight. Uh, it's a great thing to see the Comets roster having almost doubled since last season. And uh, we're just excited to see how they do in tonight's season opener. Well, with just a couple minutes left before kickoff, we're going to take this opportunity to say thank you to our sponsors. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. This is Casting Comets TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to say that Aubrey has joined me in the booth. Aubrey, welcome tonight. I'm here. <laughs> I made it. So, you know, I've got to say, the, the comments looked great in last week's scrimmage. Uh, we weren't able to bring any of that live, but you and I were both here to watch that. And it's really good to see that their numbers have almost doubled from last season. Mm -hmm. Uh, Coach Slocum was talking in an, inter in an interview he gave me last week. He said how much help that is in the game or in uh, practice because now they have two full lines. They can actually set up and uh, scrimmage against each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, numbers definitely helps even if, right. you know, just for practice purposes anyway, not just for subbing, but to right. be able to practice. It's hard to have, I mean, the bare minimum amount of players anyway. Right. Oh, absolutely. You that bench depth, uh, it, it it can't be understated. And I noticed something when I was looking at the roster tonight. For possibly the first time ever, I'm seeing the Comets with a larger roster than the opposition. Wow. Well, wow. Comets kicking off to the receiving Trojans. Faked a handoff there, number 12, Cameron Neely. He's going to the right, gets wrapped up by three of the Comets and taken down at the Trojans 35 yard line. Now, as soon as I got up here and looked out, the first thing I noticed was those brand new jerseys that they're wearing. Those, uh, yeah, that home red is a new color. Last year, of course, we were, uh, last few years, we've been blue and white. Blue, yeah. So, yeah. of course, uh, those those blue jerseys, uh, they've taken a beating. I noticed that there's, a, there's some, old. There's some old. holes from the pad-to-pad uh, mm -hmm. -pad contact and tackles. Mm -hmm. No, I know the boys were very excited about getting those in and finally getting to wear them, so. Maybe that'll also bring a little motivation to the thing, you know. Look good, feel good. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, Greg Brawl, oh. a newcomer to casting this year, about got a hand on that little uh, flea flicker pass. There's a flag on the play. All right, oh, that was a holding charging. call against the Trojans. They'll give up some yardage here. The ball has been spotted on the Trojans' 31-yard line. <clears throat> I 
Repeat first down, 14 and one. Oh. Neatly oh. bumbled that snap and then a nice wrap up there. Great takedown there. Who was that? I didn't even see the number. And that was uh, Sam, Sam Smith. Smith. Of course, Sam proved last year as a freshman just absolutely how athletic and dominant he could be on the field. And then this year we've had not only several very athletic freshmen come up, but we've also had an infusion of some fresh athletic talent from outside moving in. Mm -hmm. um, several new names there we uh, on the roster this year. We've got Greg Braut, Tim Lee, Dawson Tennant. Uh, rolling down through here. But not only that, there's actually a lot of freshmen on the roster, too. Oh, oh absolutely. We've uh, got we're a very freshman-heavy team, it looks like. There's eight of them? I mean, that's that, a lot of new blood coming into a varsity right. and, game. But they're guys who are super athletic. I've had the opportunity to work mm. with, uh, for instance, ooh, incomplete pass there. I've worked with, uh, like, Landon Schaefer and uh, Kane Chainlob. And Blake Hammond and, and Evan, a lot of these guys have, they've been in track with me and, and I've watched them play basketball and I just, they're super athletic guys all around. Mm -hmm. And that's absolutely what the team needed. Not just more numbers, which obviously helps, but they needed some athleticism. Yeah, yeah. Um, not that the guys who were out there weren't athletic, but again, when you've only got the bare minimum, then it just doesn't, oh. doesn't work well. Ball there went to the left, and it looked like a couple of the Comets were convinced it was still in the middle. I can't blame them. I, I lose track of the ball on play I, all the time. I don't know where the ball is three-fourths of the time. but It's typically again, on the field. I <laughs> don't play football. But, um, you know, also another thing I kind of noticed looking at the roster was for once we're not – a small team. I mean, usually we have small players, and compared right. to other schools, we're right, the underdogs. We're, but I mean, we're pretty much evenly matched here. Yeah, yeah. Our our um, roster is all in the upper five foot to low to mid six foot range. Now we do have a, a lot of guys who are kind of lightweights for football, but that makes them quick. Yeah. Um, and there's there's definitely something to be said for having a quick program. Get yes. that ball moved down the move down the line and just keep going. All right. Fourth and 18 now for the Trojans. And there's the punt. It went crazy sideways. And it's going to come to rest in Trojans territory here. I'm going to guess they're going to spot that around the 43 to 45 yard. And so that's Comets taking over in Trojan territory. <coughs> well, once again, last week during the scrimmage, uh, the Comets really looked good. Yeah, they, they had a they had a couple of tackles that, that popped the ball loose, resulted in some fumbles. Uh, but by and large, we seem to have a passing game this year. We've got the ground game that we've had. We've still got Gavin Hickel there mm -hmm. in fullback. that they, They'll they push him through in a wedge. They've shifted Sam Duvall over, so he's not playing center now. He's able to make a hole. And there's a completed pass there to is. Hunter Shanelob down around the 40. Looks like we're going to get three yards off that play. You know, another thing I noticed from the scrimmage, though, is um, I heard the guys talking afterward. And, I mean, obviously a scrimmage doesn't necessarily count as a win to the normal roster. Right. But everyone always looks at the scoreboard anyway and says, oh, wow, we won. But they said that was the first scrimmage they'd won in a long time. So, I mean, that's already a good boost coming into the season then. Absolutely. Sam Smith, man, hit hard right there behind the line of scrimmage as he took possession of that ball. Looks like we're back to three and ten, or third down, ten yards to go on the 43-yard line. I'll get all these numbers straight eventually. Yeah, about the day after I get everybody's names right. Well, then all the jerseys are, you're lucky, they're all going to switch. <laughs> 
All right, there's the snap. Hunter Schaefer, a little flea flicker over here to Sam Smith. Got tackled by his shoelaces. Trying to see where they're spotting that. Looks like they are spotting that ball around the 36 yard line. Comets fourth and three. You know, with their field position and everything, I think they go for it. And it looks like, looks like that's what they're doing. There's a snap. Oh. Got a penalty here. Penalty on the Trojans. That's going to be a cast in comments. First down. First down! Woo! You know, uh... Definitely a good start to the game. Comments coming in with the first down. I mean... Yeah, that was... You know, when when you're that deep into your own territory and you're getting, getting ready to potentially be looking at a turnover on downs, you... you you don't, you don't give up foolish penalties. Oh, there nice it is. Nice completion That's a there one. to Greg Brawl. Gets taken down at the 25-yard line. Greg Ball, Brawl was on the starting lineup. I mean, it, he's new to casting this year, but there's actually several new kids and new faces that have brought a lot, not only to the football program, right, though. We saw uh, uh, Fanning in the mm -hmm. soccer game last night, mm -hmm. very athletic. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that the vast majority of our new students are athletes. Yeah. And which is something that's a little different in, in my experience at casting over these last several years as a staff member. Mm hmm Oh. Ooh. I think they were looking for the cut, and he was almost there. He they was. just didn't complete the he didn't run. Get, he didn't get quite cut in, and... The bad thing is, is that ball sailing past where the cut should have met with the pass almost was a direct uh, turnover to Cameron Neely. All right, well, second down, there's a snap. Schaefer looking for his pass. Oh. Sends it off over there, there to goes, Gavin Hickle. There it goes. Hickle going all the Touchdown. way. Touchdown. Let's go. Our first touchdown of the opening game. This is already a good start for the Comets. Oh, I mean, absolutely. they're so excited. Comets um, fans on their feet. I don't recall getting a touchdown in the first half all last season. Again, no. though, this is a different uh, – we we didn't have a lot of seniors last season. Yeah. And we brought in a lot of fresh talent, athletic talent. This is really uh, – it had such a, a – so much potential in this season. Yeah. And faking the kick. Oh. oh intercepted on that uh, two-point conversion attempt. Now, back to the um – Touched on everything with new faces and everything. Um, you know, with the seniors, I know for most of the sports, a lot of the sports, there was a lot of, well, what ifs now. Because right. I remember Casey Alt was a big part of last year's team. Or not last year's two team. Years that ago. was two years ago. But I mean, like a lot of the other teams, a few years, like we've been graduating people. Like mm -hmm. there was a lot of seniors. And for cross country, we lost two major ones. And, oh, absolutely. You know, so each sport is just trying to come back. And I know Tony Slocum, um, he's been working really hard with the kids absolutely. this year. He, you know, the, this coaching staff pours their hearts and their lives into these guys all summer long, uh, all through the preseason. And, you know, it's, it's a testament. Looking even at last year, it's a testament to – the coaching staff, the way that the guys hung in there every yeah. game. They went out there and played just as hard in the fourth as they had in the first. You know, fighting an uphill battle the whole way. So 
the coaches the coaches deserve a great season as much as the yeah. as much as the athletes do. Yeah. Nice low kick, fair catch there, number twelve. And nice takedown Sam by Sam Smith. Smith. Getting that tackle deep in uh, Trojans territory again. I think that tackle is down, well, looking at the chains. About the 26 yard line, maybe? Oh, scratch that. How about I uh, look at the right lines? Make that the uh, yeah. 32. As I say, I don't, I don't know what lines you're looking at. Oh, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm old. That's all the way across the field. All right, well, let's see if this Commons defense can do what they did last time. Going up the middle with the ball and stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Carry there was uh, number 40. 40, is that right? I don't have a number 40 on my roster. Well, up the middle again. They did get a gain of a couple yards on that. Be about third and eight here for the Trojans. <laughs> this could be a quick set of downs. All right, we're going to the right. Going right. Oh. Ooh, some nice blocking going the on, blocking. but he's still back behind the line of scrimmage. And coming up the left side gets a Trojans first down. They definitely had a lot of really good blocks in there. Where the comments just could not get through Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Of course, there is a flag on the play. We're going to have to see. That was actually it was really good play there. Uh, I thought he was going to get stuck behind the line of scrimmage going back and mm -hmm. forth like that. Yeah. His yeah. Uh, his offensive line made a hole for him and he was able to capitalize on it. You know, to see the flag is down on about the 47 yard line. And another penalty on the Trojans. Wow. It's going to take them out of first down territory. That's got to be a heartbreak. I say the Trojans have already showed some signs of upset. I mean, you know, just right. it's getting really, penalties and everything. It's really easy to get out there, get frustrated. And, you know, we, we talked last night during the soccer game, and obviously you've heard me say it a thousand times at practice. Mental makes up 90%. Oh, there's the snap. Looks like he's looking for a pass. And oh, there we go. down there by number 67. Get Grant Hickle. Grant Hickle. You know, he just barely got his hand on that, too. I mean, That's, he just came out it of was nowhere. Really good. It was a, a really good play there. Uh, Grant getting his hand in there, blocking that pass because it was a good pass. Um, so just uh, good playmaking there by Grant Hickle. <laughs> Fourth and five for the Trojans. It's like they are, oh, they took oh. it as a long snap. Oh, He's, he's got a first he's down. Going. Oh, out wow. Of, ooh, hard hit wow. there by Landon Schaefer, sending him out of bounds. Right around the 44 yard line. Trojans making it into Comets territory. Landon just like dipped his head straight into that. I mean, he went for it. <laughs> really dug into him. But definitely the Trojans were not happy about that. No, they uh, they look like we about had a little bit of yeah. a uh, kerfluffle over here at the uh But you know, it was all just bench. the petty, I'm gonna run into you and shoulder check you just <laughs> to make sure you understand. I mean, right. I've seen that thousands of times. Absolutely. Just the little digs. Oh my god. Trojans goodness. now. Nice, nice uh, juke there by number 12. Cameron Neely. Uh, just running, running the Trojans to another first down. 
They're deep into Comets territory now. Uh, down around the 24 yard line, I think. You know, and that was honestly just a mistake on our part. We took down some guys that didn't even have anything to do with the play. So then we had a pile of three Comets. All right, handoff there to Austin Kiefover. Yeah, it's, but that goes back to things happen yeah. so fast on the field, you know, and, and we've got a view from up here several tens, oh, yeah. tens of feet yeah. in the air. Bird's eye view definitely makes it easier to see where you should have gone. I mean, right. even I've noticed that when commentating basketball, well, I say, well, they should have done that, but right. in that situation, you can't tell. Right. Keefe over, he had a nice juke there, got taken down right around the 18-yard line. Third and five. <laughs> you know, though, I definitely, you can just see that change in the demeanor of the Trojans as they got a couple of first downs. Oh! Ball pop free, and Comets recovering that. Tackle there by number two, Greg Brawl, and uh, he happened to see the football go over his head and turned and dropped on it. Comets getting possession. Great after. recover by the Comets there. Absolutely. Taking possession of their own 23-yard line. Hopefully they have a couple of decent plays and get it out of their territory. I say one wrong. Uh, yeah, that's not. Server. I mean, it's, it's right there. Not the best field position you could ask for, but. Let's see, I noticed number 10 went in for the commas, Kane Shane Lobb. Okay. Okay, he's now playing alongside his brother, freshman to senior. So that's always exciting, you know, being able to compete with your sibling and being on the same team. That's always yeah. a cool experience in itself. All so right, we well, have a we've timeout. got a timeout. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned to Casting Comments TV on RTC TV4. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, if you're just joining us, Comets just took possession by covering up a fumble on their own 23-yard line. Uh, six, or six, cannot read to save my life. 538 left in the first quarter. Uh, Comets with a 6 nothing advantage right now uh, after a really nice series of plays on their first possession. Uh, just weren't able to quite complete the two-point conversion off of the kick fake, so. Lines are forming up. Let's see if the Comets can move it out of deep in their territory. Schaefer calling for the snap. Fakes the handoff, ooh. Ooh, oh, gets tied oh, up oh, deep behind Oh, the... still up. And throws it, throws out, it out, of out of bounds. Wow. That was nearly tragic for freshman Landon Schaefer. Deep in the pocket. And uh, Trojan defender got through. We'll try that again with second and ten. Okay, they did call an intentional grounding on that. I was uh, I was kind of surprised that they hadn't. So uh, how about second and 20 for the Comets? Ball now on their own seven yard line. Yeah, 
There's a snap. Short pass to uh, Gavin oh, Hickel. Good run. There we go. Hickel started to break tackle, couldn't quite do it. Gets the ball up to the 17 yard line. Gets 10 yards back for him. Need a couple, uh, yeah. couple more plays like that. I mean, at least they're making forward progress. Well, absolutely. Still, that's a that that intentional grounding hit him hard. Third and 16 now. Comets are going to need a big play on this one. There's a snap. Oh. Over to the left. Greg Brault completing that pass, but gets taken down right at the 18-yard line. And... Team got Blake Hammond out there. I'm trying to see, it looks like we've got a kicking team out. Which uh, is definitely the right call in my in my opinion. Uh, when you're on your own 19, you don't risk turning over on downs. Yeah. Nice flat kick. Caught at the Comets oh. 45 yard line or so. Oh, and oh. he could go all the way. He's going all the way. Oh, oh, taken out of bounds at the nine yard line. Looked like Jesse Rockwolf with that tackle. Oh no, Grant Hickel. I really thought there for a second that he, he was gonna go all the way. If Hickel hadn't got there with that nick of time tackle, he was going for the end zone. Just, I'm impressed with how West Central, I mean, their offense, they're there. I mean, they, they are amazing blockers. I, I'm going to tell you what. This looks like a different West Central team than even the first half of this quarter. Yeah. Uh, they they gave up some points early and shook it off. And trying to go straight up the middle. Comets seem to have pushed them back inside the five. They are just barely on that line. You know, that. The, Comet's got uh, quite a few touchdowns in the last several seasons by just ramming it up the middle. Mm -hmm. Second and two. Oh, just and one pile. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, it's just one team trying to push one way and another oh, one trying to push the other just absolutely. to try and lean one direction. Absolutely, because we're now on the one-yard line. I yeah. Mean, third and goal. Could very easily go in here, could pop it free and get a fumble. It's there's the oh. snap. He's going to the left and breaks the and plane. And a touchdown for the Trojans. Trojans there tying it up. But we still have three minutes left. So I mean. Oh, Hopefully the comments don't start second guessing themselves now. I mean, because they were all high on their hopes, and then you know. Right. It's it's definitely too early in the game, too early in the season to start hanging your head over anything. Oh yeah. There's a snap, and we're and going to the he's, right, and he needs it. and I see a flag on flag. the play. I didn't see it, but every ref on the yeah. field did. <laughs> Looked like a bunch of dead canaries falling. <laughs> Trojans called with holding. And that's how you give up your extra points. Yeah. The Trojans have really been called on a lot of penalties They've, so far. Yes. About every... Call. I mean, I don't know. Have we had any penalties against us? That intentional grounding. Oh, when, yeah, that and, one. And uh, I'll tell you, I think, though, that we almost matched up penalty yards with the Trojans with mm -hmm. that intentional grounding call. Mm. All right, well, we're going to back it up to the, uh, looks like the 14-yard line, and uh, they'll get their extra point attempt again.
There's the snap. Drops back. Bring it back. He's going to the left. There we go. Off interception oh. there. Nicely done by uh, number 67. Which it is it? That's Grant Hickle. Grant Hickle just making all sorts of plays out here defensively, and uh, certainly doing the Comets a, a service. I say the Hickles bring a lot to the team. I mean, oh, there's oh. three of them. <laughs> And, but they've definitely made a point in this game so far. They've all done something to make themselves stand out in one way or another. I mean, Gavin's a great senior leader, too. I mean, he's really setting a great example. Grant Hickle, I mean, he's already done a lot, too. And, I mean, they're just sophomores. Right. And, uh, and I don't know that Garrison's gotten any field time mm -hmm. yet, but he's athletic as well. It's... There's a lot of athleticism in the family. Mm -hmm. And so you put the three of them on the field, and I think good things will happen. You, you get the three of them in the weight room where it's more of a social setting, and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of bickering. That's another story entirely. <laughs> you know, but it's good, though. I have seen a lot of these athletes in the weight room and put in a little bit of extra effort, you know, because yeah. they won it this year. They're trying to make a change. And it's good to see that fans are still coming out to support. Oh, absolutely. I mean, no matter if we win or lose, there's still a good amount of people that come and support. And even well, at that, I'm happy to see that the band showed up because, you know, we went through the new uh, band, band director. director and everything. Yeah, and, and you just weren't sure. Yeah. Uh, right before school started, I wasn't sure how many folks would uh, were going to actually keep band. And But even looking across the field at the visitor stands there's quite a few trojans fans that have made yeah, the trip here so yeah. oh i i always feel bad for a team when i look over and see an empty stand really short kick off there uh sam oh, smith getting taking it hole, going and he's, he's going go. all the way he's going all the, all way. the way touchdown for the comet sam smith just grabbing that grabbing that kickoff and taking it all the way in Putting six more on the board, and let's see uh, let's see if the Comets can add some to extra points on this time. Comets really coming out hard. I am honestly impressed by the that way this game is going. I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way, but they've just come out so hard and so passionate. Absolutely. I, I feel like, to me, this is the heart they showed last season plus the extra numbers the they stamina. needed to right they needed to make it happen and uh, it's all coming together Smith with the kick oh and we're wide to the, wide to the left all right 250 left in the first quarter casting comments 12. West Central Trojans six. And uh, definitely an exciting quarter of football so far. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, while we are waiting for the kickoff to set up, we're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comets Football on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets lining up for their kickoff after Sam Smith returns the Trojans' kickoff, taking the score 12 to 6 in favor of the Comets. Kick is up. Straight into the waiting arms of number six, Griffin. Oh, Mc oh. Wow. Took a hit there and just ran right Piled through him. Up. Balls down just on the Trojan side of the field. And uh, I thought I might have seen some arguing down there, but 
Let's say there definitely appears to be a little bit of animosity going on. I mean, that's just from here, but you also don't know what's being said. Oh, absolutely. There's, I know that there is a, a lot. lot of trash talk down on the line. I mean, if the ISHA is watching this, there is no trash talk at all from your <laughs> side. It's nothing but perfect sportsmanship. Yes. But, it, you know, it's an aggressive sport. You know that tempers are going to flare. I mean, even basketball is not supposed to be a contact sport, and you know oh. that tempers get hot on the basketball court. All right, there's the handoff. Oh, handoff right through the middle of that. Trojans gaining some yards. Looks like about five on that carry. Breaking midfield into Comets territory. 225 left in the first. Looks like they're going to spot that ball in the Comets. 48. There's the snap. A little bit of a flea flicker in the backfield oh. there to number three, Cody Merlot. He's going to the left. And tackled Down. hard by Landon Schaefer. Still got enough for a Trojans first down. I'll tell you what, Schaefer, I think he's actually leading with his shoulder, but the way he ducks his head down, I just. Oh, yeah, he definitely three goes words. down there. Three words, concussion. <laughs> We actually figured that out yesterday at the soccer game. Well, we did, we did. Yeah. Uh, there's more concussions in football, but they're more severe in soccer. Oh, another oh. Triton carry. I'm not sure how far he got. That was uh, Garrett Lehman. Looks like he might have been just shy of the chains. My eye says that looks like about second and one here for the Trojans. And uh, we may just have a game goes all night back and forth trading punches. It, it may come down to just who's able to strategically score oh, in the wow. second half. And, Going uh, right through the middle right there. Yeah. There's another West Central first down. There's a snap, flicks it back to number seven, Lehman again. He heads to the left again. Sam Smith able to push him out of bounds. Looks like we're about second and four on this series. Under a minute left in the first quarter. And handed off right up the middle, stopped on the Comets 15 yard line. A little shy of a first down. Third and one. And we got a quarterback keeper here as he's trying to run it in. No good on that. Went out of bounds. It looks like around the five-yard line. Ref says he was out on the four. 23 seconds left in the quarter. There's the snap. Flea flicker. Oh, oh wow. A couple and of tackle breaks and runs it in, in for six more. It's amazing what a difference just a few seconds can make. And no comments were even close to him. No, I, I mean, they, he just ran it right in. Up around the line of scrimmage, there were a couple. He was easily able to outjuke uh, those defenders and just run it in. And we got a flag on the play. Um, oh. Penalty against West Central. Wow. And they'll give up five more yards. Yeah. 
All right, there's a snap. Oh. UB keeper and looks like he got shoved out of bounds before he can make it across the goal line. At first I thought he was going to pass it in though because there was a West Central wide open. He was looking there, but then he took it for his own. Yeah, I, I really think, he, again, from the bird's eye yeah. view versus down on the field, yeah. sometimes it's just the the thought process is you have to think so fast. Yeah. And Especially in football. I mean, you have big guys coming, right. sprinting at you. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of terrifying. Like, okay, I've got this football, and there is uh, 900 pounds of humanity coming straight at me. What do I yeah. do? You know, I mean, this doesn't relate to actual football, obviously, but I remember <laughs> – homecoming powder puff like i was like seniors i mean we're gonna win like no big deal and then we were playing i was like wow this is actually kind of scary like i mean we don't have padding but i mean they're all running at you and you have about five seconds to decide where to pass it <laughs> right. when to pass it or to run <laughs> so but i mean that was supposed to be a two-hand touch yeah. back to the whole sportsmanship <laughs> thing <laughs> perfect sportsmanship yeah. yes <laughs> that was definitely a game to remember all right, 16-6 <laughs> left in the first. Game's all tied up at 12. Trojans getting set to kick off the ball. Let's see if uh, Sam Smith can sneak another one straight into the end zone again. That'd be really nice for the comments right now. I feel like they're gonna they're gonna start, you know. Learning, okay, we, we got to watch this guy. We got to watch oh, yeah. th that guy. They're quick. But they should all know that. I mean, right. if they watch past film, I mean, it's obviously not the same. Right. But they've also faced some of these people. Kicks up. And Smith gets a hold of oh. it. Oh, they dropped it. They lost the ball. I'm not sure. West Central may have covered that up. Coach Slocum down there asking the refs to call something here. It honestly looked like when it hit the ground, they weren't quite aware that they were supposed to well, I pick think it up. I mean, they, they leave it, but like. I think that they were going to let it roll dead. And then with the, I, I'm, I'm not sure if they thought that West Central was going to try to but I think there might have been a whistle before, and then it was a still in play. No, they're oh. uh, they're calling that uh, Trojans ball, and this casting crowd is not, not happy. happy about that. Trojans taking possession on the Comets 28-yard line. But you know, I think that was kind of a I, I mean a very gray call. You kind of it wasn't black and white. I mean, there was yeah, no. Yeah, this goes back to I'm glad I don't wear the stripes down there. I, you know, referee seems to be everybody's favorite meal during a game, and uh, I I wouldn't want to deal with it. No, you know, and like some games are better than like some sports are better than others. Yeah. But I mean, some of them get way too intense. Thirteen seconds left here in the first. Comets are going to have to try to hold the Trojans deep in their own territory. Neely calls for the snap. Flicks it off to number seven. Running, Lehman. Running, Lehman taking going it. to the left. Taking it. Oh. And... Almost, almost, almost runs there. The Refs calling him down by contact before the ball went across the goal line. We've Actually, oh, he wasn't, uh, he was five short. Only five seconds left. Running Clock's off the running clock. down. And there's the quarter. We got a penalty on that last play. Let's 
Sam Duvall being helped up. That's a that's a big fella to have to help <laughs> up. You know, Aubrey, I think that I've already seen more penalties in this game than I did, like, any three games last season. Yeah. I don't know if they know what the yeah. penalties are. I'm not. Yeah, they're, they're, we've got... Oh. Wait, it looked like he caught it on the say, comments. It looks like he caught it on the comments and was going <laughs> the wrong way. Ah, uh, illegal uh. substitution. Okay. Now, that's really risky for the comments, too. I mean, they're that close. Yeah. All they've got to do is stop this play, and that's the quarter. And right Ended. up the middle, that looks like it was good. Mm -hmm. And the yep. West Central Trojans taking their first lead of this ball game. Well, once again, as long as the Comets keep their head in the game, it's it's too early to too early to think anything's over. Yeah. Yeah. But this West Central team, I think that they came out here thinking that the Comets were going to be a pushover. Yeah. And after that first couple of series, they they realized they had to change their mind and they had to play hard. Lehman going to the left Ooh. and knocked out of bounds. Mm -hmm. And referee says that he was in the end zone before he went out. That's uh, the first extra point scored in the game. And we'll be going into the second quarter after these messages. You're watching Cast and Football on Comets TV on RTC TV4. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Welcome back, out. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've got just a little bit of time here while the teams are in their huddles. Coming into second quarter action, uh, the Trojans took the lead right at the end of the first quarter on a, uh, got a, a second shot at a touchdown attempt off of a Comets penalty and uh, made good with it and then tacked on the two point conversion. You know, the comments are doing really good on offense. It's just the defense. They just can't get around the Trojans, and that's really hurting us. I mean, they just get stopped, and then they make full runs. I mean, you know, sometimes they can hold them back for one play, but then another one, they run the entire way. Right. Good to hear the Commons fans are still up oh, in their spirits, though. I mean, absolutely. You got you. You've got to stay with it and stay ex excited after a first quarter like that. Mm -hmm. a, a lot happened. I mean, oh, there were five touchdowns. That was a lot of action. You know, there's some football games where right. they don't score until the last quarter. I mean, that's Super Bowl 2019. You're right. Boring football. Short kick there, and covered up at the Comets 40. 
I Honestly, the Super Bowl that. had so little hype <laughs> in 2019, I didn't even know that it was happening until <laughs> it was, like, halfway done. I mean, because usually people are talking about it through school and everything, but, I mean, there was nothing. <laughs> that, that was that was one of the most boring Super I'll Bowls say. I ever watched. If you were a fan of this most recent Super Bowl, I, I apologize. Uh, not Not that you were a fan. I apologize if I've offended you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, goodness no. gracious. But, you know, that's about the only only thing I have on my TV is uh, the Super Bowl. I mean, football, <laughs> that's all I have. And so, you know, when it's a good game, maybe I'll sit down and watch it if there's nothing else on. But <laughs> I tried to watch that. Ooh. I watch it for the commercials. <laughs> Schaefer getting covered up back in the pocket. Taken down and giving up about seven yards on that. That's that's going to be disheartening. So about second and 15 now. Man, we got a flag. Oh, Comments there with wow. a false start. And with that, the comments are going to call a timeout and regroup. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. You're watching Casting TV on RTC TV4. Upgrading your RTC internet can really rev up your Wi-Fi. Here's why. Wi-Fi is a stream of data flowing through your home, and each online device removes a portion of that data, which can slow you down. Luckily, small changes make a big difference. First, choose the fiber internet speed that's right for you. Upgrade to a whole home mesh Wi-Fi network and secure your network with a password. Contact RTC Fiber Communications to get your Wi-Fi up to speed. Ian, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Slocum stepping away from that huddle there, imparting some words of wisdom to the guys. All right. Oh. Oh, and another oh. sack there against Schaefer. Had some time in the pocket and took just too much of it. Wow. Football now on the 25-yard line. Really pushing him back. It's uh, second and it's like about second and 25. Excuse me, third and uh oh. oh take it, go, go, go. Mm. And down by a tackle at the thirty six yard line. Was that uh Grant Hickel again? Um 87? Oh, that was Rockwolf. And that's why I was getting Hickel and Rockwolf mixed up. It's 67 and, and 87. Mm -hmm. It's so. okay. Earlier, I was going to start calling numbers with names and stuff, except then I was, like, looking at the roster. I was like, I don't know who any of these people are. Turns out I was on the West Central side. <laughs> it's like, that's probably why. Because I thought it was just, you know, You're one like of the new kids. <laughs> I was like, I don't know who this is yet. You're like, wow, we got so many new people. Wait. Yeah, I was like, huh. Ooh. Oh. There's the punt, makes it into West Central Territory before rolling out of bounds. And uh, Comets now with a, a couple of demoralizing series. Yeah. They've got to keep their heads in it. I mean, they still have a lot of ball to play right oh, now. Oh, absolutely. I mean. we, we've got, we're only, we're under three minutes into the second. Mm -hmm. So there's plenty of time. And, you know, honestly, 
Win or lose, I think this is a good start to the season, no matter uh, what they absolutely. they think. I mean, obviously, it's still a loss, and that's going to be, I mean, a right. long. Oh, oh and, and it's completed. Wow. Wow. That was a very good throw. Is that about a... Ball's on the 36. They were about a 20-yard pass. Snap. Like Quarterback keeper, it. and he's got another first down. Oh, he might and go. He's and all the way touchdown. there. It's Cameron Neely, senior quarterback, keeping the ball all the way into the end zone. And now uh, stretching that lead out 26 to 12. We were doing good there for a while with the I main back and forth action. We'd score, they'd score, we'd score, their score, but they've now scored right. It, it's two touchdowns in a row, and it's going to be a matter for the comments of not dropping their heads. It goes back to ninety percent of your athletics are mental, and they've got to keep in this game mentally. Mm -hmm. Two point oh. conversion goes to the left, and, and it's in. Two more points. Twenty-eight twelve, West Central. All right, well, while Coach Slocum tries to talk some strategy with the guys, we're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service. Backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider, working hard to be a good neighbor. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comet setting up to receive another kickoff. Waiting on West Central to take the field here. And here come the Trojans. You know, it's funny when you look out on the field and some guys just, they look so much bigger than their stats, say they are. Oh, yeah. Oh, but that's how any roster is. I mean, you make them sound bigger and tougher and, like, you know, way more. Right. I mean, well, look at the basketball roster. I'm five foot on there. I mean, <laughs> that's not anywhere close to true. I mean. Four foot six. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> no, it's ten. <laughs> yeah, give me what I got. But, I mean, yeah, I completely understand what you mean. All right, there's the kick. And, oh, oh, oh. oh. Sam oh, Smith wow. dancing around with the ball. Just has to cover it up on the Comets 32-yard line or so. Wow. Just kind of fumbled and around with that a little bit at his feet there. Well, hopefully we have a much better series this time than what we saw last time. Yeah. Just a couple of bad yeah. series. You know, they happen. You shake it off. Move on with it. Mm. And I think it's time for a Comets comeback here. Right Schaefer receives a snap. Straight Hands off to Hickle. Oh, no, not to Hickle. Once again, I have a hard time keeping track of where the football went. I mean, it went straight down the middle. Okay, Even right. I saw that one. It's a lot easier to watch from up here than it is from down there. Or maybe from up here I actually am watching. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> 
All right, Comet's taking the line. Schaefer Throwing with the long bomb. Long. And oh. incomplete to Shane Lobb. Flag on the play anyway. That would have been a really good that catch, was a though. I mean, beautiful. You know, though, I, I talked to Coach Slocum about this the other day, too. Well, the thing is, is that every athlete wants those long, beautiful passes. Oh, yeah. Those are that's the the kind of the sports center material. You know, but the it's stereotypes those, in movies that they make right, a really long right. pass and but catch and win. The things that win the game, typically. Yeah. Typically, now we've seen a couple. We saw we've seen a kickoff return here. Yeah. We've seen a couple of long plays, but by and large, what wins the game? are those five and eight yard passes, yeah. those, those six yard carries, and you just keep doing that over and over, and the next thing you know, you're in the end zone. Yeah. Um, but Maybe. that's not that's not the, the strategy big exciting, behind it and everything, right. you know. Right. And, you know, that's not to say that those big plays aren't sometimes the right no, play No, I to mean, make. and they happen. But um, that was something that, that Coach Slocum mentioned, that you just have to – you have to get the these high school athletes convinced that you know the big show isn't yeah. necessarily the way to go. I mean, and even they see that in like the NFL and everything. Everything's right. put on a much larger scale. I mean, right. they have the potential well, to do that. We're going for it again, though. Oh, oh. Shane Law had his hand on it, just couldn't quite complete that catch. All right. Looks like we're at uh, about third and 12 or third and 13. The scoreboard says third and 12. We'll go with that. You know, knowing Shane Love, I know that these two passes probably are really getting at him. I mean. Absolutely. He was right there. He yeah. Was I right mean, you, there. He literally touched it. So, I mean, you know, just having it right there, having the opportunity. I know how much he supports his team and not being able to complete that. Right. Right. Well. Comments have called another timeout. We're going to step away for this word from our sponsors. You're watching Casting Comments TV on RTC TV4. Ever wonder why your local TV bill keeps going up? The bulk of these increases are due to rising network fees. A few powerful media companies dictate what TV providers must pay to offer their channels to you. And every time networks demand more money, that affects what you pay every month. If TV providers don't meet their demands, networks threaten blackouts. Since 1999, these network fees have increased by three and a half times the rate of inflation. To see what we're doing to keep network fees in check, visit TVOnMySide.com. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, the West Central Trojans have stretched the lead out 28 to 12. Uh, this cast and comment team, though, looking really good out here on the field tonight. Coach Slocum talking some strategy with them. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Third and 12. 12, 28. I mean, that's not an amazing score, but we're still, we're still in we're it. We're in it. Yeah. Oh, oh, and it. oh. Interception there by number two, Braden Noist. Wow. And that was a really quick, hard pass. I mean, he just that swooped was, in there and he, he stole that. He dove through. Great field position for the Trojans. Wow. That's just, I was, I, sorry, when, when brain dead there, I was seeing, uh, seeing what year Noist is. He's a junior, so certainly is not his first rodeo. Mm -mm. Looking at this, I mean, West Central has a lot of seniors. You know, and so that brings a lot of experience to the team, too. Absolutely. All right, football going oh. to the left. Had a, I see Sam Smith, Grant Hickel, and uh, Evan Howard on that tackle. Shutting down Garrett Lehman there on the left side of the line. Gain of about two yards on the play. Yeah. 
Push him back, push him back. There you go. <laughs> right back down just in front of the line of scrimmage. Gain of a couple yards. They're just trying to push right through the middle. I mean, but so far, that's what's worked best for them. I mean, Absolutely. Well, look at last season. Or just season. bringing it up, I mean, right through the side. But when they, I mean, when they just take it straight, they usually get, I mean, at least a few yards there. Absolutely. Then that was uh, the Comets go-to play last season. Yeah. And. It almost looked like he took himself down on that one. Might have. But, yeah. Feet slipped out from under him. Fourth yeah. and two there. Hey, you know, you never know. The grass might be starting to get a little dewy out there on uh, the, absolutely. the cleats and everything. Well, and, you know, as you crush the grass, it starts letting out liquid. Oh. It's like uh, Ooh, wow. Like offsides on the comments. Yep, offsides yeah. on the Comets, and they're going to give up a first down. That's uh, West Central did that earlier in the game, and Comets were able to capitalize on it. Yeah. I mean, but Sam was – he was all, he was offsides, but he was going strong through them. I mean, he was ready. <laughs> Football oh, in the hands wow. of Lehman. Nice uh, tackle break. And uh, – we're going to have a holding call on that, I'm pretty sure. Right? <laughs> Grant I think, Hickel, I mean, I think he that, tried to go for that tackle, but the guy just went right around that, him. and. I think that was Hunter Shanelob just had a handful of pads on that tackle. Wow. No, but I was talking about Grant when he just right, I mean, he he flew he right dove past him. It. I mean, he just kind of went through air there, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, West Central is definitely a fast-moving uh, team. Garrett Lehman, that was a really good stop and go to break that tackle. Say, so, yeah, Trojans are um, – they're definitely picking up momentum at this point. They are. They are. Again, I think that um, part of the first – half of the first quarter was that the Trojans came out completely yeah, underestimating the and comments. I completely agree. And so uh, they shifted up tactics a little bit, and they've really found – it really looks like they found their stride here against the Comets, and hopefully the Comets can adjust their strategy and uh, start making things work again. I said at the beginning it was, it was a lot slower of a game, and we got that touchdown, and they're just so easily, smoothly clean, and now – I mean, it's about switch because, I mean, I remember from one of the beginning plays, the Trojans were barely getting anything forward. Right. And then out of nowhere, it just, like, switched. And right. we are now, I mean, struggling to get yards. But, um, but the, the Trojans, I mean, they're getting it through. They're, get, they're blocking off the defenders. I mean, just letting their people run by. Absolutely. I mean, and that's – there is uh, – so much to be said. You've got to. Your offensive line has got to make ho yeah. holes for your ball carriers or or your offense goes nowhere. I mean, but they have – I mean, I feel like they're a strong team, so they know where their person is supposed to go. They have those right. holes created. Right. And, I mean, that just goes into teamwork. Of course, the Comets also uh, – they, uh, they had a lot of hard work this summer. They're running a completely new offense. Uh, they've been running the wing T for who knows how long. And uh, Coach Slocum brought in a, a new plan, new playbook this year. And um, it's really been working for them. But, mm -hmm. again, they've they've really got to shut down this Trojans offense. Oh, oh. QB keeper. Oh. And we're going to take them down there. Sam Smith and Gavin Hickel wrapping them up. Neely... Uh, Giving up some yards there. Taken down around the uh, Comets 30-yard line. Mm -hmm. He really got a lot of helmet into that, <laughs> that one. I'm surprised they didn't, like, call out on anything. It looked like or, like, they accidentally grabbed his mask or something. It but. looked like Sam was trying to wrench his head off. All right, there's the snap. We're going to hand it to uh, number 10, Austin Kefover. He's going to head straight up the middle, recover a few of those yards lost on the last play. It's like we're at about third and 12 here for the Trojans. 
5.50 left in the half. Trojans up 28-12. Garrison Hickel on the field there, I just heard. Oh. Oh, nice tip uh, there by Shanelaw, but couldn't quite capitalize on it. It was tip, but they, uh, Comets almost caught that I saw that, that tip almost too, recovered. Not quite. Trojans now fourth and 12. Looks like a timeout and for the Trojans. Trojans calling a timeout. We're going to step off for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned to Casting Comments TV on RTC TV4. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation, and we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to come back from this Trojans timeout. And uh, Aubrey, you just said you had a score update on Pioneer. I mean, that's as long as it's credible. Uh, well, okay, well, <laughs> well <laughs> rumor has it that uh, Pioneer is down tonight by two touchdowns. Of course, they've got a, a big rebuilding season ahead mm -hmm. of them. So uh, that said, Pioneer football has been huge for quite a few years now. Yes. Yeah. All right, Neely going to the left, sends it downfield to number three, Cody Marlett. We had a completed pass. It should be a first down. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, officials calling a timeout. It's like we might have an injury down there. We're going to step away from the action here in just a moment. Stay tuned. You're watching Cast and Comments TV on RTC TV4. RTC cable subscribers. Now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere. Another great service from RTC. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Still uh, looks like uh, Marla is up, being helped off the field by the coaching staff. But uh, it's a, th a heck of a thing to yeah. sacrifice uh, minutes of game time for a first down. But it's like that puts puts the Trojans at first and goal. Going up the middle. And, and down shy of the goal line. Penalty against Another the Trojans. Penalty. Wow. But once again, Trojans giving up yardage on the penalty. Repeating first down, first and 15 on the 15. There's a snap. And looks like another QB keeper. Taking up to the side, switching sides. 
Looking Sam for De come on. Oh. Sam Duvall going for that tackle. There we go. There's the tackle. Taken down by Greg Brault and looks like Blake Hammond might have been helping with that tackle. Down around the 26 yard line, quite a loss of yardage on that play. Yeah. I mean, I thought he was honestly going to take it up the side, but then he turned around and started going yeah, backward. Sam Duvall almost had the tackle, just missed him though. But You know, that'd be a scary thing to see coming at you. That'd break your concentration. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, Trojans using their second time out here this evening. We'll be back after these words. You're watching Cast and Comments TV on RTC TV4. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, another quick score update on that Lewis Cass Pioneer game. It is now 14-8 Lewis Cass. Yeah, that's probably gonna, a good game for them. I mean... You said earlier that it's a rebuilding year. I mean, it's just really to see what they're made of now. Right. They've they've had uh, Kaiser there. Yeah. And uh, he was a not that he was the only part of the program. No. Uh, there's a lot of athletic guys at, mm -hmm. at Pioneer. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's kind of they also they've built these last four years around yeah. the the kind of leadership, the if you seniors. will, of Jack Kaiser. And so with him out of there, there's mm -hmm. a – and, you know, Lewis Cass, I remember when I was younger, of course, I went to Logan Sport, and I remember Lewis Cass in the 90s being a good football school. So yeah. I'm sure that's a, it's probably quite the game to be watching. All right. Man in motion. I see Malat back on the field. That's, that's good. There it goes. <laughs> and Greg Brault with another sack. Just coming Taking in from the side, really getting a good Neely. tackle yeah. there. Just wrapping Neely up, dropping a few more yards off, and we've now got the line of scrimmage back nearly to midfield. Uh, looks like the ball setting on about the 37-yard line. So, uh, you know, it's kind of funny to think that we're at third and goal with 37 to go. <laughs> That's There's the snap. Oh. And nice oh. fake on the handoff there. Comet's still taking Lehman down just a few yards into his break. That was uh, Gearhart and Hickel going in on that tackle. And I'm going to say... Uh, Gearhart last uh, last Friday, he ran down somebody in the scrimmage. Just turns out he's got a set of wheels. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that about several players. I mean, they well, were sprinting, but they were catching them. And I well, was like, and wow. Looking, I mean, I, looking at at uh, some of these stats and knowing the guys who wrestled last year, it mm -hmm. looks like our football team has trimmed up where it was important. Oh, bad there. snap, and there it gonna goes. Gonna cover it up at the 45-yard line. Well done there that was by very Gavin Hill. Good play. Gavin coming out of he nowhere. Really, back to the whole running thing. I mean, he just came in. Wow. That. Of course, Gavin is a, a sprinter in the spring, and. He definitely yeah. proved it. I mean, once again, we've got some some quick guys out here on the field tonight. Uh, and once again, even the guys, some of the guys who traditionally weren't quick, looking at their stats, they've trimmed up. Yeah. And this is a leaner, meaner casting comments team. Yeah, I mean they're they're coming prepared. They're ready for the season. 
which is, you know, uh, kind of an amazing thing because if you'll remember back to the end of last school year, there was a question whether or not there would be a Comets football program. Yeah, I remember we that. Were, we were so close on numbers, and it's, it's just an amazing change out here. And I talked to a lot of the people. Schaefer, oh, oh. oh. Passing it over to Hickle. Hickle didn't quite get control before he ran into a brick wall. Yeah. Pass was incomplete. Oof. You know, I, I look at some of these tackles, and they're just brutal. I mean, he really just hit him, and I could just see the momentum. Of <laughs> Gavin's neck snapped over. Ooh. I wonder how many of these guys have their chiropractor on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Doc, can you put my spine back inside of my body, please? <laughs> <laughs> There's a snap. Fake the handoff over to Rock oh. Wolf. Steps oh. back to try to break the tackle. Gets tied up and taken down by number 10, Austin Kiefover. We're going to drop the line of scrimmage back a yard. Third and 11 now for the Comets. There's a snap. Schaefer looking for his there completion. Is. There we go. Sends it to Sam Smith. Smith going down, oh. the, going down the left. Gets tripped up. I see him holding his calf. He's uh, being a little slow to get up. He may have strained something on that shoestring oh. tackle. Officials calling a timeout. We're going to step away from this and let them check Sam Smith over. Stay tuned to Casting Comments TV on RTC TV4. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Right before we went away on the break, and there's a nice pass completed to Sam Smith. Sam made a break down the left-hand side of the field. Excuse me, the right-hand side of the field. And I'll learn my right from my left one day, too. Got tackled by his shoelaces. Went down holding his calf, and uh, we've got the trainer down there working with him. We're hoping that he's... Uh, Hoping that uh, just some stretching will get him back on the line. He's up. He's and up. He's and he's under walking under his own power. Now you said, uh, you said as we went to commercial that uh, Sam's a big part of what's happening mm -hmm. out here, and I mean, there's. He's been the open man for a lot of really good looks. And he's even gotten touchdown for us too. I mean, right, he's, running in that kickoff return. He's definitely a big, a big part of what has happened. Absolutely, absolutely. Some of that again, uh, sophomore this year. So he's some of that fresh blood infused in last year. Just a great natural athlete. So well, there's the snap. Schaefer oh, gonna send it over to Rock Wolf. Go. Come on. No. Rock Wolf stopping on that pass. Oh. And getting it up to about the 14 yard line. That was a he good. He almost was taken down there, found the open a, spot and went for it. Really good stop and go yeah. play there. All right, football on 13. See if we can't put six more, maybe even eight more on the board before the half's over. 70 seconds now. Oh, Schaefer there we go, there we go. It, 
Oh. Makes a break for it and gets up to about the 11 yard line. Almost had an open spot there. Sam Smith heading back in. Keen Shanelaw back off the field. 40 seconds left in the half. Hopefully the Commas can pull need through a, with a touchdown. Need a good I mean, look here. That'd be a really a good way to. Handing oh, there it, it goes, there it goes, all the way, come on. He's trying to push through, oh. down at about the two. They don't have too much time to. They've, 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 got to, they've got to go. They have to set it up. That's the problem with the running clock. They don't have time. Right, they, they've got to get on the line. 17 seconds now in the half. There's a snap. Sends it Come into on. the corner to Shane Laub, and he bumbles in and completed. It is good. Touchdown for the Comets. Completed pass to Hunter Shane Laub down in the right corner. There's that pass he was looking yes, for those other couple of times. Means good. a little bit more to make it in yes. the end zone. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely a good boost for the Comets Absolutely. right here. I mean... Now, if they can, if they could tack on the extra points this time, it'll really send them into the locker room mm -hmm. with a big boost of confidence. Yeah. Looks like they're going to go for a kick. There's a snap, kicks up, and it's good. Well done, Mr. Smith. Comets 19, Trojans 28. Just over 10 seconds left in the half. We're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned, you're watching Comets Football on Casting Comets TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 10 seconds left here in this first half, and if you're just joining us, what a half you've missed. A uh, very exciting evening to be a Comets fan, uh, even if we are sitting on a little bit of a point deficit, mm -hmm. getting ready to go back in to the locker room. Sam Smith kicking it off. Again, glad to see him up and moving quick oh, yeah. after that shoestring tackle. Just to think that he was just, I mean, down. Right. Oh. oh, missing that uh, that kickoff Come stop. Come on. Six seconds left. Get him down. Left. Get him down. There we Hickle, go. Pickle missing that tackle. Smith taking him down. One point eight left. Just missing that ball. I mean, gave the Comets plenty of time to just jump on that <laughs> and make them actually lose ground too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. End up with possession down behind their own fifteen. And it would take an amazing play to capitalize on this sub two seconds. Not to say it's never happened. That'd be that, that really would... impressive. I mean, you have to run really fast <laughs> for that. All right, there's the snap, there's the handoff, and, and there's the no. half. Well, of course, they're still trying to fight well. him around. All right, well, as we go into halftime, we've got Casting Comets 19. West Central Trojans 28 here at the Comet Crater. You're watching Comets TV on RTC TV4. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's it for the first half. We've got a few minutes here. You can step away, grab yourself a snack and something to drink. Join us here in uh, 15 minutes as we cover the second half of tonight's matchup here on RTC TV4.
Well, and with 20 seconds left in halftime, uh, I really appreciate Taylor Duncan highlighting the uh, West Central School spirit. Uh, we'll file that under things I didn't expect to see today. Hey, you know what? Bring the best. <laughs> All right. Let's hope that the Comets came out of the locker room re-energized. <clears throat> Got our three-minute warm-up leading into the second half. And after some of those first half hits, I bet those guys really need that stretch. Oh, I couldn't imagine how sore some of them might be. I, like... No, I suddenly get bruises after cross country, and you like that's something you shouldn't get a bruise from, but purposely getting hit that's that's something else. That's yeah, like I said, I just my neck hurts looking at some of these hits yeah. that we've seen this evening, which I'm surprised they don't get more concussions and more injuries than they do. I mean, they have padding, but how much <laughs> right. absorbance do those really have? Right, you've got you've got a combined weight of like 400, 500, 600 pounds hitting into each other at you know, 12, 15, 20 miles an hour. That's a lot of force. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, probably not 20 miles an hour. Now that I'm thinking through that. <laughs> That'd be pretty see, impressive. I could see 15, though. You've got to think mm -hmm. that guys like Mitchell Rands run at a pretty constant, like 12 miles an hour, and that's over distance. So I, I could easily see a 15 or 18-mile-an-hour sprint. Yeah. See, but Mitchell, I mean, he covers a lot of distance at a really good speed, but also he's, his, got, he's got a stride that takes him, too. I mean, yeah. 15 miles an hour on him looks a little different than... 15 miles an hour, like, for me. I mean, <laughs> two completely different situations. Absolutely. Going the same speed, but it just, one looks a little bit more graceful than the <laughs> other. <laughs> I still remember uh, trying to keep the Gator ahead of Mitchell the year I drove the boys, or drove the Gator for the boys varsity cross country race. Trying to swerve around all the people that he was lapping. He told me after the race his goal was to actually get to the Gator. So he, he wasn't making it easy for me. It's always nice being able to watch the team run off the field together. I mean, just the team aspect of sports makes me realize that, like, you know, that's something people will remember forever. Oh, yeah. You know, just the Friday Night Lights, it's just so much goes into it. All right, Trojans setting the ball in the in the stand, getting ready to kick off the second half here. There's the kick, high and short. Oh. oh, and bumbled about. Gavin Hickel gets it covered up. And the Comets will take possession on about their own 43-yard uh, line. Mm -hmm. 
There's the snap. Handing off to Sam Smith. Smith trying to go to the right. Trying to go, trying to go. Is he going to get it? Gets wrapped up just Still over up. the 50. Still up. <laughs> Took six of the Trojans to take him down. First down. First down. And the refs are going to give him a first down on that. Nicely done, Mr. Smith. It's like we're going to spot it here on the 46. Smith in motion. They're going to hand it to him again. To He's going to go to the left. Oh. Oh. Gets taken down hard at about the 42 yard line. They're definitely relying on Sam a lot from the very get-go of this. You know, I don't know how that that'll play off in the end, but <laughs> you know, you it, they're definitely covering up Sam a lot. Yeah, it's it's got to be you know it's got to feel good for uh, it's got to feel good to be relied on like that, but by the same token. It probably doesn't feel good taking the hits that go along with that reliance. I mean, they also might look. Oh, oh, there we go. Gavin. Come on, Gavin. come on, Gavin. Trying to get that break. Gets taken down at the 15. Great run by Gavin Hickel. Wow, right through the middle. Got that open go. And he almost didn't get taken down there. Yeah, they, and they were just able to get him wrapped up around the legs. And uh, with the forward momentum he had, just took him onto the ground. He, uh, if he could have had about one more step on that, he, I think oh, he would yeah. have gone all the way. There's a snap, gonna hand it, or no, oh. yep. <laughs> I faked, I faked myself I, out twice. I, Smith trying to take it to the left. Looks like he uh, might have given up a yard on that one. Gonna be honest, I actually lost the ball. No, I've been doing really good so far, but well, I, I thought Schaefer was taking it up the other side when really he's going the other way. I thought, at first I thought that Smith had it and then I saw uh, Schaefer go and I was like, okay, well yeah. maybe, maybe we got a quarterback keeper here. Nope, they faked the broadcasters out. Way to go, Commons. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't fake out the defense, so. True. But it's also not too hard to fake out the broadcasters <laughs> when That's neither true. of us have football experience. There's the Throwing long pass long. to Shane Lobb, and oh, it's, couldn't quite complete it. There's They're calling a flag on the play. Might have been, uh, that might be pass interference there on Lehman. Yep. Pass interference on number seven, Garrett Lehman. You know, it's good that football doesn't really have like fouls like they do in <laughs> basketball because I really think some of these Trojans would be nearing that uh, <laughs> limit mark. Right. Gavin Hickel right up the middle, tacks a couple more yards on it. Gonna put the comments at third and two it looks like. There's the snap. He's going to pass it to pass Shane, it to Shane Love. Love. And he's good. He completes it for the touchdown. There we go. That's a touchdown for Hunter Shane Love. Good take in there. I mean, that 
from one miss to a touchdown, I mean, that's just, that's good repetition. I mean, been better for really me the is. first time, but comes back, makes it better the second time. Absolutely. Once again, uh, th those completed passes are a lot more important when they happen oh, yeah. in the end zone. And honestly, Shane Lobb would have, would, would have had that last one if it weren't for the illegal interference. Yeah. So, well played. Let's see, uh, see how we're going to stack up trying for extra points. Comets now bringing it within striking distance, 25-28. 8.43 left in the third. Looks like we're going for two. There's a snap. Schaefer, oh, oh mm. off the helmet of Gavin Hickel. It was almost there. Did you say it was off of Hickel? It was, it was off his helmet. Oh. So, well. I thought the Trojan got a hand on it. It was a good look, just didn't come together. Well. While we're waiting on this next kickoff, we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors on RTC TV4. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets lining up for their kickoff here. You know, it's almost too bad that the, well, it is too bad that the Comets kind of have made that um, extra two points. I mean, we would have been a tied ball game now. I mean, that would have been a it's, really good start to the third quarter. It would definitely be a shame for to, for tonight to go down as a loss. Yeah. Just due to extra points. Yeah. Nice kick by Sam Smith. Kick. Caught that one, so. In deep. Oh, and wow. nice tackle break oh. there by number three, Marlett. Oh, and wow. Then gets piled up. I <laughs> heard the collision from here. Wow. I mean, he just <laughs> bounced off of him that time. Well, Gavin Hickel is a fairly solid dude. And he knows that. I mean... <laughs> He's just, I think he's just sub 200 right now. Mm -hmm. And if he's double digit body fat, I'd be surprised. <laughs> if he is, he's not very far double digit. There's a snap. Hand Trying off, to move it right middle. down the middle. Oh, and he Into a wall of comets. Looks like they might have put one or two yards on it. <laughs> Sam Duvall with that stop. We had uh, Grant Hickel and Hunter Shanlove helping him up. There's a snap. Oh, Over to Marley. He's side. going right. Oh, come on. Comets get it. Oh, don't oh. get him wrapped up. I thought they had him. I think Hickel finally forced him out of bounds. That will be a Trojan's first down. There's a snap. Going to try to go up the middle again. Nope. Comet's offering some pushback on that. Second and eight now. There's a snap. Fake. Oh, got a fake. quarterback keeper. Had a little bit of a flea flicker over there to number seven, uh, Garrett Lehman. 
he uh, Yeah, you know, we've got an injury down here. Who are they calling that on? The injury is... It looks like uh, we've got number 20, Evan Howard, is it down. Mm -hmm. So we've got an official call timeout here. We're going to step away. Stay tuned. You're watching Cast of Comets TV on RTC TV4. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got Evan off the field. He was holding his foot, so not exactly sure what happened there. Once again, West Central 3 and 12. Just on their side of the 50 yard line. There's a snap. Oh, We're going to pass it back. Catch it back to Marlett. Breaks a couple down, tackles. Down, there we go. And taken down by his shoelaces at the 47. Gavin Hickel, the name we're putting with that tackle. We've definitely said Gavin's name a lot throughout this game. I mean, he's, I know we talked at the beginning about just senior and leadership, but you know now he's he's the leader that definitely leads by example. I mean, he's setting a good tone right now for the comments. Oh, absolutely. I mean, look at, again, just look at last year. He was always the tip of that wedge, driving yeah. the, that yardage. He uh, he takes a lot of hard hits out here mm -hmm. on the field. Yeah, there's the punt. And it's going to bobble out of bounds at about the Comets 43-yard line. All right, we've got a three-point game right now. 6.20 left in the third. <clears throat> Not sure exactly what Coach Slocum said at halftime, but it certainly looks like he relit some fires out here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that carries over into the last quarter, though. I mean, Absolutely. Is there a lot of football to play? Long night. You know, 18 minutes doesn't seem long until you're just getting beat to death out on the yeah. gridiron. Yeah. <clears throat> Gavin Hickel with that carry. Slides in, uh, moving the line of scrimmage up just a yard or two. You know, this really is not football related, but in a way it is. <laughs> but just the girl in me is like noticing their shoes. I mean, they're so sparkly under the lights. <laughs> You know, got to have some of that commentary. You know, a little bit for everybody, right? <laughs> Fashion sense of the teams is definitely definitely <laughs> favoring to the uh, Trojans. Oh. Ooh, come. West Central picked wow. that Wow. I believe so, especially by all the cheers. Chain gang's moving. I I don't know though. The officials act like they're still discussing it. Yep, pass intercepted. Yep. Coach Slocum definitely not looking happy no, down the sideline. He's kind of stalking back and forth down yeah. here. Yeah, but that's definitely not what you want to see <coughs> happen with no, especially you know, three point deficit. And not in your own territory. Yeah. There's the snap, handoff, and we oh. go right up the middle. And get shut down around the 46-yard line. <clears throat> I 
Well, there's the snap. He's going to flick it back to number seven. Lehman, oh. ooh, gets tackled hard from behind by Hunter Shanlob. We've got a penalty on the play. And we got a comment down there. It looks like he's holding his chest pads. <clears throat> well, we've got the trainer on the field. We're going to step away for this word. Stay tuned. You're watching Casting Comments TV on RTC TV4. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just in time for uh, Sam Duvall to get up off the, off the ground. He's moving a little slow. <laughs> and uh, that penalty right before the break was on West Central. Uh, line of scrimmage moved back to about the 42 yard line. Second and 19. There's a snap. Plenty of time in the pocket. That time. Oh, long, long. long. And pass incomplete. That. That was a long bomb. That, that was a long one, and they, but been, they almost had it there. That would have been, if that had been completed or intercepted, highlight of the evening right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't, I'd hope it would be intercepted, though, because right. that would be the wrong kind of highlight Intercept, for us anyway. Intercepted and run back for a touchdown. That, Man, they'd but, make a movie about us. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I wouldn't go that far. But <laughs> you don't usually see passes like no. that here at the crater from either team playing here. 4.41 left in the quarter. It's a snap. And then. Hunter Shanelob with another stop. Looks like we're going to be at about 4th and 14. Now then, the question is, does West Central go for it, or do they kick it? Well. And with this field position, with some of the plays they've made tonight, I, go for it might be the right answer. Yeah. I'd say they've been getting very lucky off of the Nope, there's a long, long snap. Runs. And, oh, oh. Oh. He is. He's going for it. And Gavin Hickel shutting that down. Comets are going to take over at about their own 49-yard line. I, I've got to say, with as long as that snap was, I really thought it was going to be a punt. Mm -hmm. And we've got Ooh. somebody else down on the field. And I see a red jersey there. That's not good for the home team. Well, yep. Yeah, it was Hickel, and he's back up, moving under his own power. I think it'd take a lot to – that looks like number 40. Yeah, that's that's Gavin Hickel. Oh, he's, I face it 48. My bad. He's limping on it. Not, mm. not good. He's down on the sideline. He was able to come off under his own power, but – Yeah. I really hope Gavin ends up being okay because, I mean, he's a big part of the team right now. And I know it takes a lot for him to go down, so. The way he was moving, it almost mm -hmm. makes me think calf cramp. Oh. Might be the kind of thing that they can massage out on the sideline and get him back out there. In fact, yeah, that's probably what happened to Sam Smith after that one shoestring tackle. Yeah, yeah. 
See, in Sam's situation, it looked like they just grabbed the back of his foot and maybe pulled a little bit or something. Yeah. It's just not a normal way a body should move. <laughs> There's a whole lot of not normal body movement when with the forces at play out here. Well. Sometimes it looks like football is the fine art of folding clothes with a player still Except, inside of them. Yeah. You know, that's not really the best representation that I'd want to use <laughs> in this situation. But good for you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Looks right. like Slocum is taking some time to figure out some play, hopefully get Gavin back up. Yeah, well, while the teams are off on the sidelines talking strategy, we're going to step away for this word. You're watching Cast and Comments TV on RTC TV4. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. and. Aubrey and I didn't realize we were talking about Gavin being down for a little while. We didn't realize he had tackled Cameron Neely, and Neely was still down on the opposite side of the field while we went to break. So that's, uh, you know, both those guys at the upper end of the 100, you know, 180 plus pounds, both Gavin's of them running hard. It was just a lot of force. There's Hickle going back yeah. out on the field, so. Must have just been a calf cramp. Yeah. <clears throat> Under four minutes in the quarter. You know, I haven't heard a lot about of Sam Smith in this second half I mean I think that was Smith up the middle there with that was one, it though. okay there we yep. go as I say speaking of I mean last half it was he had a couple him Gavin really and big uh, plays. Shane Lobb were making a lot of the big plays but this one they've been really handing off a lot to uh, Shane Lobb making the long passes I've got to say and then again the uh, another name we said a lot was uh, a lot of big stops by uh, newcomer to casting, Greg Brawl. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of hard hits. Yeah, he's done a really good job. I, I mean, he's definitely a really good addition, and he's done snap. nothing but help us. There's there we go. There pass to Sam Smith, there we breaking go. the tackle, going to the right. Getting a and he's taken there down he by goes. three. There's a flag on the play. Looks like it was a, a face mask call. We'll have to see what the. Uh, flag was at the 27 yard line. There we go. It was a face mask. We're going to uh, go half the distance to the goal line there. You know, I will compliment uh, Shane Lobb, actually. He created a nice hole there for Smith to run through. Absolutely. Gets a few S extra yards there. Smith with a, a smart stop yeah. and go back here around the 40. Uh, capitalized on the on the pass block or on the blocking that Shane Lobb was doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, yeah. you, you have to wonder how far, even with three people on him, how far might he have gone if he hadn't been dragged down by the yeah. face mask? Yeah. Comments now up at go. the Trojans. Looks like 18 yard line. 13. Oh, taking it straight up the middle. There we go. Oh. And we're gonna almost getting it. Landon Schaefer keeping a hold of that, going down just on the other side of the five yard line. Landon not getting up quite so fast. Yeah. 
You know, at this point in the game, I have to wonder if some of this isn't cramping due to dehydration. Oh, you know, and we all know you're big on hydration. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm a running coach. Um, but let's face it, once you start dehydrating and then you add impact and trauma in there, mm -hmm. uh, can definitely see where you But on top up. of that, it's cooled off really That's quickly. I mean, I walked out of the press box and it was just cold. And it's kind of warm in here, but when I walked in, it was... I Sun was shining nice and warm. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're in the mid 50s right now. Mm -hmm. So, well, while uh, while the trainer's taking a look at Landon Schaefer, we're gonna step away. Stay tuned. You're watching Cast and Comments TV on RTC TV4. Upgrading your RTC internet can really rev up your Wi-Fi. Here's why: Wi-Fi is a stream of data flowing through your home, and each online device removes a portion of that data, which can slow you down. Luckily. Small changes make a big difference. First, choose the fiber internet speed that's right for you. Upgrade to a whole home mesh Wi-Fi network and secure your network with a password. Contact RTC Fiber Communications to get your Wi-Fi up to speed. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Landon Schaefer up and moving under his own power. Looks like he's going to take a break over here on the sideline. I'm not sure who they're going to put in to quarterback now. That could uh, definitely change the way that the Comets offense looks. Mm -hmm. First and goal to go for the Comets. Well. Looks like we got Smith now playing quarterback, and they're just going to rush up the middle. And looks like Touchdown they made it the for goal. the Comets. Comets now taking the lead again. <laughs> Two and a half minutes here left here in the third. So you mentioned how we took out um, our quarterback and looking at the roster, there's no backup quarterback, I believe. Unless yeah. my eyes are deceiving me. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm not sure what, well, again, Smith took the snap on that one. Yeah. So I don't know if Smith is going to play second string quarterback. I don't know, uh, last year Hunter Shanelob uh, played quarterback for us. So I'm not sure if he will come in a second string. Oh, nope, nope. we're sending Landon, Landon back Schaefer's out. Okay, there we back go. Out there. Oh, looks like Sam's now coming off limping, so. You know, playing through the pain, well, I guess, walking it off. It, it can't hurt at all having 22 guys piled on top of you. Well. Now, with Smith coming off, I'm guessing that the comments are going for two. Mm -hmm. And we're going to oh, shove it up the middle again. Through and it's this is going to have to be a ref call. I don't know where it is. No good. Nope. No good. That. It's kind of like an inverted tug of war there, doing it that way. Yeah, I mean, they all just, I think the front people fell, and then everyone right. just fell like dominoes. Absolutely. Regardless, Comet's back in the lead, 31-28. Two and a half left in the third. About said the first. Uh, that'd be a long night We're not for going us. back to the first. <laughs> All right, well, while we wait for them to line the kick up back off, no, nope, kick off back up, we're going to step away for this word. You're watching Cast and Comments TV on RTC TV4. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider working hard to be a good neighbor. 
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comet's putting the ball in the stand. Smith has had some really nice kicks tonight. Uh, we've seen some from uh, Triton that were really high and short. His have been, had a nice arc, kind of going low and long. There's another, another one. Good one. Caught at about the 20 by number three. Hopefully we can get a stop That's there. That's a mallet. Oh, they just the spin line. right out of that. I've seen several, like, defense moves like that that we would try and go and get them, but then they would just spin right out of us. I mean. That was a nice stop, though. Yeah. They're right in the center of the field by Grant Hickel. Garrett Lehman making transition into quarterback position for Triton, or Triton, West Central. Trojans, oh, oh fumbles, fumbles that there. snap. Oh, oh my Breaks goodness. the tackle, we're gonna have a flag called here in the backfield. I almost wonder if that was on the comment. May have been, there might have been a holding call back there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Penalty against West Central. Oh. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. I saw a th them so. going for the face, but I guess I thought that was us. So, so not there were, yes, the, the face mask was on the Comets, and then there was a penalty okay. on West Central as well. Okay. As I say, I, that's what I thought they were going to be going off of was the face mask, but... All right, repeat first down. First and 10, man in motion, there's the snap. Got another, Already got, got a, a flag, flag on the play. Come on. Take him down, guys. Oh. Had a short pass back here. But first we have to see what the flag's about. Mm -hmm. Penalty against West Central. Wow. We should have kept track of how many penalties there were. I mean, wow. But these refs are really just catching everything. Well, and, you know, it's it's been such a close game. It, it Like in basketball, sometimes the refs really have to step up the amount yeah. of calls they're making to keep the aggression. It's kind of at a... At a minimum. The lat now going to the right. Oh, he's Breaks still Breaks a couple up. tackles. Oh. Hard, hard oh. run block there in the middle. Breaks no. another set of tackles. There we and go. taken down finally by. Wow. Landon Schaefer. Landon Schaefer there. Wow. That was a big run. That number three, um, Cody Marlat. I don't know, he's, he's played a lot in their plays. I mean, he just really, he's the one that I've been noticing that just spins out of it. He I mean, is, he's, he's, he's quick. quick, he's small, agile. I mean, really just moving through with it. And Comet's there with a false start. They'll give up uh, just a few yards there. Deep in their territory now. Ball on the Comets 17, it looks like. On red. 
There's the snap. We got number 12 back in at quarterback. Flicks uh, it over to Marlott. And Marlott breaking oh the tackle goodness. and now nope. doesn't quite make it into the end zone. He just avoids the defense so well. I he's, mean, I just. He's really good at reading the defense. We just and making, miss him. And, and he's quick. Yeah. And you put those two together and you see a lot of running yards. Yeah, he just has a really good view of the field. And, and handoff. There we go. There to number seven. Tries to go straight up the middle. And Gavin Hickel shutting that one down quick. Under a minute left here in the third. Comet still with a three-point lead. Trojans deep in Comet territory looking to change that before the close of the third. The snap, oh, quarterback oh, keeper tackled by his shoelaces. Another tackle there for Gavin there Hickel. Go. Twenty seconds now left in the third. Let's go, Red! It looks like we have someone else down. All right, officials calling a timeout. We're gonna let them get this injury sorted out. We're gonna step away for this word. Stay tuned. You're watching Comets Football on Caston TV on RTC TV4. Ever wonder why your local TV bill keeps going up? The bulk of these increases are due to rising network fees. A few powerful media companies dictate what TV providers must pay to offer their channels to you. And every time networks demand more money, that affects what you pay every month. If TV providers don't meet their demands, networks threaten blackouts. Since 1999, these network fees have increased by three and a half times the rate of inflation. To see what we're doing to keep network fees in check, visit TVOnMySide.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Gavin Hickel was uh, the comment who was down. He's back up and moving. <clears throat> He's had a uh, a couple of really good tackles there in the last two plays, and so it's a, a lot of impact drama. All right, third down, eight yards. And. And. Trojans recovering their own fumble, and that's the end of the third. One more quarter of play tonight. Comets 31, Trojans 28. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet, and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation, and we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. One more quarter of play here tonight. Comets currently leading the Trojans 31-28. And it has just been a great evening of football. Great season opener here. Uh, Comets just really looking like they're ready for a good season. You know, this sounds bad as a Comet. But I mean, I haven't watched a football game like this in a while. I mean, no, we've the crowd's still involved. Yeah. I mean, everyone's still on their feet and can't wait to see what happens next. I mean, we haven't had that much excitement in a long time, and you know, we have a whole new start of like heart and passion that is driving this game right now. Absolutely, uh, it's a it's at least been two years. Yeah. since we've seen football like this. Mm -hmm. uh, again, because last year, between not having the numbers, not having the bench depth, uh, one of our key players injured early in the season, yeah. or relatively early in the season, when uh, Chris Smith went out with that ACL injury, mm -hmm. um, just 
when you've when you've barely got enough for a line anyway. Yeah. And then to lose Ooh, a key player. Oh, oh he's whoa. Marlott going right. Nope. Getting stopped there at about the two yard line. It was uh, number 67, Grant Hickel. Wasn't all Hickel though. There were about four comments there. I think Garrison was there. Rock Wolf was there. Shane Lobb was there. And uh, we've got number 21, Caden Webb, hobbling off the field. <coughs> West Central now. First and goal. Oh, nope. How about I read oh. the line right? And that's Caston with the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Where they Smith. even announced that. Okay, I'm asleep. <laughs> Remember me saying it's past my bedtime when we were at commercial? Sam Smith with that carry. Sam Smith with that carry gets up to about the 12 yard line. And uh, he looked like he might have been favoring that left leg again. Of course, uh, that seems to have been bothering him ever since that mm -hmm. first half tackle. All right, there's the snap. Hand off. Yeah, oh. And that play up the middle shut down by West yeah. Central. We got pushed back on that. <laughs> Comments now. Third down, ball on the 11 yard line. There's a snap. Oh, there's the hand hole. Off, there it goes. Hand off to Gavin oh. Hickel and just got smashed to the ground at the 23-yard line. Got enough, though, for another comp. It's first down. First down. I've got to say that, that uh, the cheerleaders... Uh, the three ball cheer doesn't work quite as well for a first down. <laughs> no. It's definitely a lot more exciting during basketball <laughs> season. But, I mean, you get what you can. There's a, there's a snap, and we've got a penalty out here. Uh, number two, Greg Brault carrying the football there. Penalty is against the Comets. <laughs> Gonna guess that was an offsides then. Going for the throw, Shane, Lob. Shane Lob and it is good. The pass <laughs> completes the pass down around the 42 yard line. That'll be a Comets first down. It's a good pass, just especially that catch made under yeah. some serious pressure. There, oh, yeah. Uh, 
ball was actually spotted at the Comets 44. There's a snap, handoff Run. to Hickel. Ooh. Gets shut down just behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. That middle was just not opening no, there up was, there. I mean, there there's was nothing. Not a hole. There was nothing. Sometimes, though, once you've committed to a course of action, you've just, you just kind of power for it. through it. Well, just over nine minutes of playtime left. Comet's still with a three point lead. And I'm really excited to uh, talk to Coach Slocum after the game here tonight. So, mm -hmm. there's there another handoff to hole. Hickel. There's the hole. Makes it through. There was a little bit of a hold on his jersey. I, I don't think that any of the refs saw it, but uh, he still brought it up. Ball now on the 48. Looks like about six yards to go. There's a snap. Going, oh, Oh, and the pass was picked oh. off. There we go. And huge pile at the 41. Flags flying everywhere. Oh, no. Multiple people we holding their body parts. Two people down. Not any good. We're going to go. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors while we let the trainer and the, uh, the referee sort all this out. You're watching Comets Football on Cast and Comets TV on RTC TV4. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC Cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Landon Schaefer and Aiden Sarver, the Comets who were down hard on that last play. Uh, Schaefer was able to come off more or less under his own power. Sarver was just assisted off the field by two of his teammates. Uh, final score came in while we were off the air, and uh, Lewis Cass Kings victorious over the Pioneer, Pioneer Panthers. Panthers. Uh, this Comets crowd was maybe a little happy to hear that. I mean, I don't know if a little was <laughs> the right words. All right, Marlott carrying that. Oh, get and, the ball, get the ball. There we go. And a fumble recovery there we here go. From, by the Comets. Comet recovery there. Well, if you've got to uh, put an interception on the field, it's always nice to follow it up uh -huh. with a fumble recovery. Yeah. Well done, Comets. That recovery was number 21, Caden Webb, another freshman. Yeah. I said, I watched him come off the uh, field, and 
he was definitely very excited to uh, be able to make well, a play in the He's in He's another game. one really quick. I saw him last mm -hmm. week during the scrimmage just running guys down. Yeah. So um, what, what he lacks in physical size, he, yeah. he makes up for again. And speed. Again, uh, when, with our guys being a little smaller, a little more athletic, we're seeing a faster Comets team. Yeah. So, well, we've got a timeout on, on the field. Wilson, we're going to take a step away here for this word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Football on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Eight minutes left here in this game. 31-28 advantage comments right now. And uh, just an exciting night of football here. Great season opener. One, oh, of, the, yeah. one of the best comments football games in recent memory. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I was super nervous about coming here i mean tonight just because i don't know very much about football i didn't know if there's going to be much to talk about and oh. you know without with lack of action it's hard to come up with things but there's i mean the comments no have definitely definitely come strong with that all right and tomorrow while well, this game starts winding up oh oh there we go come Pickle on come on the go, go. flicker over to smith oh smith shoelace tackle here at around the 20 yard line. And uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow afternoon. We've got Argus Soccer at 12.30. Argus Girls Varsity Soccer at 5.30. Argus Varsity Volleyball at 9 a.m. Culver Girls Soccer at 3 p.m. And North Miami Varsity Volleyball at 9 a.m. All of that live on rtc4.com or you can grab the apps from your app store. Definitely a lot of local um, coverage. Absolutely. Right at your fingertips. All right, we had Landon Schaefer with that carry. Looks like he just made it back up to the line of scrimmage. 7.38 remaining here tonight. Comets with the ball on the Trojans, 21-yard line. Oh, oh wow. false start on the Comets. Well, we'll give back five yards, I guess. There's a snap. Hand off to Smith. Smith and going to the left. He found he's a going, hole. He's going, he's going. And taken down. Taken down. I can't tell if that's the 10 or the 15. Yeah, these windows just really Yeah, there's aren't a, the a best. lot of glare now that the sun's down. Yeah. Marking that ball at the 17. Comets now third and one. This deep in Trojans territory, you definitely go for it every time. Mm -hmm. This might be a good time to put it in the hands of Gavin Hickel and just force him through the wedge. Yeah. But we also 
that might be risky if Hickel gets hurt. I mean, oh, it's a lot. It's in the hands of Sam Smith. And I think I see the chain gang of moving. There it is. That's a casting comments first down. Comets fans definitely excited here tonight. Comets on the six yard line, first and goal. Just need a good pass or a good run just to get right in there. I mean, absolutely. Start stretching this uh, score out because again, it's still just a three point yeah. game. Still. They're gonna try and run it in there, and I don't believe it's in. Hickel goes to the left there. Wow. Looks like he got it down to the one or the two. They just Second need a little bit more there. I mean, wow. Comets fans out here cheering for another touchdown. I can feel the anticipation of the crowd. I mean, oh yeah. I mean, at least I can. I mean, we have Let's... 535 left, and I mean, we're up. We're that close. I feel like it's time to put six more on the board. Hopefully plus another two. <laughs> Even another one would be okay. Well, very true. And we have a timeout for the red. All right. Well, we'll be right back. You're watching Casting Comments TV on RTC TV4. Stay tuned. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just over five minutes left in regulation. Comet still with a three-point lead. They have the football on the one-yard one line. It's definitely a close game, high anticipation, and absolutely long night. These are the fun ones to watch, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, as exciting as last season had to be for a, for a Panther fan, I can't imagine it was exciting to watch. Oh. Oh, oh, false start on the Comets. I guess they're feeling the anticipation too, I mean. Oh, yeah. Now back to the six yard line. There's the snap, handoff Hand to Sam off. Smith. No, and oh, no, he's piled up there. Comet's trying to push him forward. It's just a lot piled up there. Third and goal now. I don't even know if Sam got any forward momentum on that ball. But you know, the Trojans, they're watching Sam. I mean. Oh yeah, absolutely. He hasn't gotten a good run in a while now. I mean, first half was definitely his prime, but the Trojans definitely picked up on that quick. Absolutely, absolutely. And now he's right, like our go-to, and they're not letting him through. I mean, he's definitely a slasher. He goes in there, gets around him, and. Snap. Oh, oh. and Schaefer got shut down hard at the 10-yard line. First 
Smith and Schaefer both over talking to Coach Slocum. Fourth and goal now with 10 to go for the Comets. 350 left in the game. I mean, that's just not much time to do with it. I it's, mean, we've been sitting down here for a while now, but. On the one hand, it's not much there's time. A pass. There's a short pass incomplete. We're going to turn over on downs deep in Trojan territory. You know, but uh, on the one hand, three and a half minutes isn't a long time. On yeah. the other hand, in sports time, it's an eternity. Oh, my goodness, yeah. yeah I mean, you know that as well as I do. How fast can a basketball game turn around? In, in three and a half minutes. Uh, oh, very, I mean, and, very quickly. And look at look at that kick return that Sam Smith had in mm -hmm. the first half. Just within seconds, there's I mean, 20 more. seconds gone, and he's touchdown. Right. So it, it's, certainly, it's certainly not over yet tonight. Comments now. <laughs> there was... All sorts of people will hit on that tackle. Hunter Shane Lava in on that stop. We just need to get it there. I mean, we're right there, right on the edge. We're holding it. I mean, we've just we hold it for three more minutes and we'd be great. But I mean, just we we've, we definitely. Oh 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 there's, no! There's a there's runner. Lehman. Lehman with that break. Oh no. Breaking the tackle by Hickel. Oh no. And taken down. Wow. Is that Jesse Rockwolf? Or is that Grant Hickel? That was Grant Hickel. But what a run. That is not the type of run no. I was me. I mean we did not need that. What a run by Cody Marlowe. Wow. You you can't take that away from that young man. Wow. Ran that clear down to about the Comets' 16-yard line. I mean, he just completely switched the He's odds. I mean, back to that hole, it only takes a few seconds. I mean, he was right there. I was surprised and we caught up to him, though. I mean, there was I no would, one. Yeah, that was great on Grant Hickel to get down there and make that big stop. And then the Trojans going to try to send it straight up the middle. Shut down at about the 15. You know, I wonder if football players have ever heard "Don't look back," <laughs> because I mean that's kind of why I noticed is uh, with Cody, he was like running and he was looking on the side, he was looking behind him. I'm like, just, just run. I mean, you know, right? Slows you down. <laughs> yeah, you lose two seconds. Of course, you also don't want to get hit by a freight train. So, <laughs> uh, there's a snap. We're gonna hand it right. Oh, flea flick through, over where to did it? Oh, Marla, Cody. Or, yeah, and. and he found an opening, got up to about the five-yard line. Wow. Just barely not getting that first down. A little over two minutes left. Third and inches now. A lot of actioning Wait, happened are they on the going wrong in first? end. Oh, they did call it first down. Well, look at me being wrong again. A lot of action and having on the wrong end. Oh, wow. Coming up here on the two minute warning. And uh, it's been a hard fought game here tonight. I mean, second and goal. Mm -hmm. You know, either way, I hope the Comets come through this with their heads. Headed off to Lehman, and, and he's, he's in. Touchdown. Touchdown Trojans, what a heartbreaker. Minute 40 left. Yeah, you can definitely see the comments are yeah, I, I saw, really walking I, away from that. I saw Sam Smith shaking his head as he was walking. Yeah. Which, I mean, there's still a minute 40 left, so I guess a absolutely. I mean, anything can still happen. Absolutely. But And there's Lehman uh, running it in for two more. I think the comments are just really anticipating the middle drive. And that just leaves them sides wide right. open. I mean, 
he all he had to do was go f swing out and go for it. Trojans now with a five point lead. 140 left in the game. Make sure you stay tuned after the game. We're going to have Coach Tony Slocum come up and talk with us a little bit and uh, get his thoughts on these games. I can't imagine that he's anything other than excited about the way the game has gone so far, even with this final minute's turn. Uh, and the guys just really have to work on getting those extra points on yeah. the board. Uh, I did just see we've still got... We've got a comment still down out here on the field. Oh. I couldn't even see that. I mean, the window the, the glare off the just window. right off of, right there. Let's see. Is that Smith? Is that? Oh, no, that's Greg Brawl. Greg, wow. Brawl limping off, but he is moving under his own power. I mean, I hope after all these injuries, they all turn out okay. Uh, so far, most of them have been, you know, walk it off and get mm -hmm. back in. I, I, uh, not sure what the status is on Aiden Sarver right now. As again, he uh, he certainly was relying heavily on the help of his teammates yeah, to get off the Yeah, but I almost field. wonder, like, how healthy is that for, I mean, get hurt, go back in, get hurt, go back in. I mean, you know, you walk it off and, right. you know, I feel like once or twice, maybe three times is, okay, that's sides, but there's some of these kids that have been right coming off and it just. High and short, we've got, got Sam, Sam Smith, Smith on the catch and he's, he's still pushing trying to forward. Fight. They get him taken down around the 45-yard line. Minute 34 left here in the game. I was certainly hoping that Smith could find an opening and, and yeah. do another kickoff return. And yeah, I mean, just the slightest differences in the game could make this completely different. I mean, if we would have actually been able to squeeze it in when we were down here for a solid two minutes, I mean, that would have been... Oh, absolutely. We would still be in the lead, but I or, mean... <clears throat> Excuse me. Or uh, again, extra points. Yeah, I'm still hoping in the next minute 34 that we pull through with the touchdown. I mean, right? Again, it's that, it's, it's not possible. over till that final buzzer. Wow. There's brought back out. And wow. Comet's getting hit with a delay of game. Give up another five yards there. This is just not what the Comets need right now. I mean. No. Wow. First and 15. Fresh play clock there. First and 15. There's the snap. No kind of long. Deep oh, pass. Deep. Nobody there. I mean, I guess it was a nice throw. Just well, no I, one there. I, um, I mean. Hickle and Shane Lobb were both headed downfield. Just neither of them quite able to get where they needed to be. Trojans using a timeout. We're going to step away. You're watching Cast and Football on Comets TV on RTC TV4. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in home Wi Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free. 
or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. And we're back. 90 seconds left here in the game. West Central Trojans now 36, Casting Comets 31. Comets second and 15 on their own 40. And uh, they really need uh, they need a hole and, and a good run. A lot of cheering coming. That's good to hear. Absolutely. Comet, oh, Comets fans penalty. excited. There's a penalty on that fl uh, play, though. Oh, boy. Comet's giving up another five on that penalty. Ball now in their own 35. Second and 20 now. Still 90 seconds on the clock. Well, now I hear a lot of noise from a Trojan side. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of excitement there. I mean, it just. All right, come on, Comet. There's a snap. Trying hand to hand to off Smith. to Sam. Smith now wrapped up by half of the Trojans line. It's just taken down at the 33 yard line. Sam just can't get the moves he needs right now. I mean. I, at this point, I feel like handing the ball to Sam is what the Trojans are looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, a different play is in order. Look, throw There's a it pass. In. Complete it. Oh, oh, just in front of Hunter Shanlob. Couldn't quite complete that pass. That would have been a that big play been. for oh, the yeah. Comets. 63 seconds left in the game. Oh my. Penalty on that play. Rockwell very animated down there. I'm not yeah. sure. And wow. Comets backing up. And that's another timeout for the Trojans. See, I... I was sure that I saw the refs stepping it back, and then I don't think that I saw the football move, Aubrey. Yeah, the football didn't move, but the ref did. You know, I'm just trying to find something to say, but I just, yeah, I think we're just getting it's tired. Really, it's a long it's night for really, everyone. Well, and it's really disheartening. It's, and, it's yeah. been a great football game. And then just Until the last with, like three minutes, and the comets and just haven't had a good run. The the comets are. I, it seems while. like it seems like they're out of gas. Yeah. Um. They had a they had a great start, and they've just had they've had a couple of plays not go their way. Yeah. And they just seem a little deflated. Mm -hmm. Uh. So. I mean, and, but we've seen a lot of the same guys play the entire game. That's true. They've got to I mean, be tired. That's a lot for. You know, one person, that's a lot of football, a lot of hits. Yeah, we, we talked last night about how long 80 minutes of soccer yeah. is. And going to Sam Smith. Pass, pass to Sam Smith. Ooh. Smith couldn't get loose. And we're going to turn it over on downs on our own 35-yard line. You know, I'm just afraid to say it, but that's – that's not really a good turning point right now no. with 57 seconds left. It's, I mean, it's not, honestly, honestly, unless unless the uh, Trojans make some serious mistake, I, I hear the, the fat lady warming up in the wings. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, Trojans can just run down their play clock take a knee do that a couple times yeah and uh, just take home a five-point victory it's 
just the way the game's going. And that's what's happening. Absolutely. It's yeah. But realistically, why would you risk it? Well, you know, true. Yeah. I mean, it was all, a good all it hard takes is game. is a is a bad turnover and so I feel very confident in saying final score. Trojans 36, Caston 31. After a hard-fought night of football, these guys are going to feel it tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, I know the comments, I mean, really wanted it. I mean, obviously. And I really wanted it from, I know how hard these guys work, and they really did put Absolutely. their heart into it. But, I mean, the first season opener, that's pretty good. First, I mean, we can... The flip side is, is when was the last time you saw the Comets Compete, in the game like, yeah. with five touchdowns? Yeah, I mean, so it's not even like it's one touchdown to two. I mean, it's actually right, right. It so, was a well played football game that really got everyone involved, and I really hope they just go up from here because right now it's like the deciding point. Because before it was okay, they got blown out. Now, right, like now we have the rest of the season. But right now there's. They can make a decision with this. They Absolutely. can get better. They can push through it and Absolutely. push for that win. Or or they can hang their heads. Or they can and, hang and their and heads you know, about it. I don't think that the guys that we have no. on the team, I, I, th I think that they're going to come out of this. They're, they're going to work hard mm -hmm. this week. And uh, they're going to go into next Friday yeah. looking to show that tonight was a fluke. So uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going we're gonna to give a few more moments to our advertisers and then when we come back we should have coach tony slocum up here for a post-game interview stay tuned you're watching comets tv on rtc tv4 rtc fiber communications is proud to announce the new rtc tv4 family of networks now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world 24 hours a day seven days a week and you can watch for free just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for staying tuned. On the other headset now, I have Comets head coach Tony Slocum. A coach, it was exciting football tonight. It was uh, unfortunate there to see it go the wrong way in the last minute. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game tonight? Oh, we had a chance. I mean, we had second and one on the one on the one yard line, and uh, due to cramping and injuries, we had to put some young guys in there. Uh, unfortunately, we, we got two penalties to put us back you know, near the six-yard line, and we just couldn't punch it in. Then they had a big play there at the end. Uh, we were running out of bodies. Our kids played hard. Absolutely. Uh, as did theirs. They made a lot of big plays, uh, and one big one at the end that cost us. So it's oh. bad for our guys. Absolutely. When uh, Cody Marlott shook free and just blasted down, that was a big stop by, uh, I think it was Grant Hickel, but – uh, maybe a little bit too, a little too late there on that stop. And then uh, West Central able to capitalize on that. Well, Coach, I've got to say, as a Comets fan, it's really exciting to see what the guys are doing. And uh, we certainly hope that uh, practice this week uh, works out well for you guys and we have a big day uh, next Friday. Yeah. So, Well, thank, thank you. Thanks for covering the Comets. Uh, we're going to work as hard as we can to uh, get a victory. We know we let one slip today. Well, thank you, Coach, for coming up and talking to us. Uh, hope you have a great week of practice, and we'll talk to you next Friday, sir. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Once again, I'm Blair Zimmerman. Had uh, Aubrey Degg up here in the booth with me. We had 
Uh, Taylor Duncan up on the camera work. We appreciate the work he got so that you guys can see what's going on out here on the field. Until next time, this is Comets TV on RTC TV4.